I am now live. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I forgot the music. <laughs> okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Morning. Hi. Welcome to Vinyasa on Friday. It's 10 a.m. Uh, I'm just quickly putting on the music. little bit of jazz while we're practicing so you don't need any props today or equipment so it's just gonna use our body weight and feel good um So we just come onto our mats. We just come onto our mats and we sit either cross seated or hero pose, whatever hero pose, which is your bum is onto your heel. So as you like, whatever makes you comfortable. We'll begin by warming up, and I want you to let your pelvis just release onto your heels. Okay. Uh, so that you are relaxed, maybe half double cushioning under your knees and pull your ribs in so you are neutral from your neck to the bottom of your spine. And we we'll begin with few neck rolls, we're just gonna tilt to the right, take it forward, let your palms rest onto your knees and just start circling your neck. We're like waking up, massaging our neck muscles. And do one more circle on this direction. And then come back completely to center. And then tilt to the left, take it back the opposite direction. And take it slow, massage. And connect with your breath. In through the nose and out through your nose. And just do two more circles. I'm just gonna close the comments so that you can see. Okay. And like do one more circles. <clears throat> yes, all the way back, forward, and then from the left, then back up. We're gonna rotate the neck to right shoulder, look back to center, and then rotate to the left. And while it's only the neck moving, so your shoulder joints are facing forward, ribs in, neutral spine, and just the neck moving. Right, back to center, left, back to center. And in through the nose, your inhale, and out through your nose, exhale. Just two more on the right, left, and right, and then last one, tilt to the left, nice, and then place your fingers onto your shoulder joints, and we begin taking those elbows forward, all the way up towards your ears, and then back, again, neck is neutral, and just you're circling from your shoulder joints. The fingers get you to feel and connect. And just circle it back. Up, down. The elbows go forward. And this is through your shoulder blades. Elevating up. And then back. So connect. Close your eyes. Connect. Elbows come close forward towards each other and then back. We'll do three more. Elbows come closer to each other and then all the way back. Last circle and then stop. We take it back. So you're going to extend your collarbone, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other, circling, bringing the elbows towards each other. So we take it back, opposite the first circle. And then forward. And widening your collarbone 
widening your chest, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other, and then release. Just two more circles this way, waking up our bodies. Last one. Nice. And this time, what are we doing? Yeah, I kind of like closed. Uh, again, we're sitting, we want to keep our hip bones facing forward and just circling. So we're gonna reach the rib cage to this side, forward to the left side and back. So I'd like to place my hands onto the hip bones and just circle the rib cage. Get this isolation. There will be definitely, especially that we're not cross seated, there will be movement into your lower body. But keep doing right, forward, left, back. Right, forward, left, back. Stop at center. We'll do four circles the opposite direction. When you begin to the left, take the spine back, four, right, forward. Left, back, right, forward. With your upper spine, rib cage is circling while keeping your pelvis or hip bones stable facing forward. And come to center, place your palms to the side, slide the right palm and reach the top arm all the way. And just extend, rotate the neck so that you face to the ceiling or your left arm. And just keep the right elbow straight. Lengthen your left side and then fold forward, swipe the floor with your arms and come up, bringing your right arm up, parallel to your ear, rotate the neck, face the ceiling and extend, it lets your muscles between the ribcage expand, left elbow straight and then come back to center. Place you interlace your fingers behind your head and slowly start closing the elbows and gently pressing your head down so you're extending your upper spine and relaxing your head just subtle pressure onto the neck onto your head while keeping neutral spine and breathe through your nose and exhale out through your nose. Two more breaths here. Last one. Slowly open the elbows to the sides, lifting your head back. Unlock your fingers and extend the elbows. Reach your palms behind you, maybe on the tips of your fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other, widening your chest. I don't let my head drop, it gives me pain, so I just hold it, facing the ceiling, looking up to the ceiling, and then slowly flexing, bringing my fingers forward, walking my palms forward, and just keep them extended, the arms are parallel to each other, you can curl your toes, and just release your head, your forehead to the floor of the mat. Few more breaths here. Last breath here. And then slide your palms for wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, we come to tabletop. Wide spread your fingers onto the mat, tuck your toes. And hug your ribs up, neck and spine aligned. We're gonna do a few cat cows. So we'll begin from, we'll begin the wave by rocking the hip bones away from your ribs, belly to the mat, widening your chest, look up. Exhale, start rounding your spine from your bum. Last thing is your head. Close your eyes and just visualize your spine and this, the wave where you're starting the wave, elbows are straight, palms are pressing the mat away from you, yes, and 
and just sink with your breath. Do four more inhales and four more exhales. Keep going. Just three more inhales and three more exhales. Enjoy it. It feels nice to connect with your spine and just wave vertebra by vertebra and release on the inhale your belly towards the mat fill it up with oxygen and then on the exhale contract let it release all the air last one and then come to neutral and on the inhale sweep your right palm all the way up towards the ceiling and then exhale thread it under your left and relax completely to the mat and then inhale sweep it all the way up towards the ceiling exhale rotate your rib cage and land completely on the mat sink with your breath do three more inhales and three more exhales all the way twist from the rib cage and then release all the way down last one all the way up exhale release come back to neutral we'll do the other side so this time we'll sweep the left palm all the way up and at the same time i want you to be pressing down onto your thumb right thumb and pinky activating your right arm muscles to help stabilize your shoulders and your back reach rotate up from the rib cage and then rotate down from your rib cage two more inhale and two more exhale last one and then exhale release completely to the mat. Come back to tabletop, check your alignment. Don't let your ribcage fall towards the mat, hug it up, pull it up and in. And then on the inhale, you're gonna hover your knees off the mat. We're just gonna do a flow, press down onto your palms, push your hips through your wrists, push your hips back towards your heels and then push your hips up through your toes for downward dog. Palms are shoulder width apart. On the inhale, rise high onto your toes, tilt your pelvis, wave forward to plank. Push back onto your heels. Maybe adjust your plank. And then lower the knees just to hover. And then push, use your wrist to palms, push your hips towards your heels. And then from the toes, push your hips up to downward dog. And then wave to plank. So just we'll do four more of these. Lower the knees to hover, push your hips back towards your heels and then up towards the ceiling for downward dog, keep your knees extended, feel the lengthening and then rise high onto your toes, weight forward to plank, push back onto your heels and then hover the knees again towards the mat, keep going, so the knees bend, hips towards the heels and then all the way up. Way forward, plank, push back onto your heels, hover the knees, hips towards the heels, and then up towards the ceiling, extending your knees, and then waving your spine forward, plank, hover the knees, last two cycles, do it at your own breath, hover, press the heels, exhale, the hips back, and then inhale for downward dog, plank, last one, lower the knees to the mat, untuck your toes, come to child pose, forehead to the mat, arms extended, or if you want to circle them back and relax your palms onto your feet, take two breaths, I'm just going to have a sip of coffee, I take two breaths in child pose, relax, let your spine unload, Nice. <clears throat> nice. And then we come slowly, come up. Keep 
your hips, just keep extending your arms more, walk, I hope you have enough space in front of you, walk your palms forward, keep walking them until you feel your hips are above your knees, tuck your toes if you need more to stabilize, arms are parallel to each other, fingers are wide spread, maybe forehead to the mat, or just hanging, so neck is aligned with your spine, and we are in extended puppy pose. I love this pose to release and keep the arms active. And let your pelvis relax towards the mat so that you are in neutral. And we'll take three breaths here. Enjoy the extension and lengthening through your back, through your arms. Last breath here. And then slowly hug your chest up, slide your palms back to tabletop, hover the knees, push your bum up to downward dog, and take two breaths here, pedal your knees, feel the pose, neck is aligned with your spine, and then start walking your feet towards your palms, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Palms touch, ribs in. Exhale, release. Palms to heart. And at the top of the mat, again, feet are hip width apart or together. That depends on your preference and balance and everything. So pull your ribs in. Inhale, circle the arms all the way in. Exhale, start hinging from your hips. Fold all the way, plant your palms. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. You can bend your knees if you want. And just sway your hips to the right. And sway to the left. You can cross your elbows. Release your head. Just no tension in your head. Your head is just hanging there while you're swaying. Right, left, one more right, left, and then fold completely. Bend the left knee, keep the right straight. On the inhale, sweep your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. See if you can tap your left bum cheek. Extend, bring it back, switch. Bend the right knee, straighten the left. Inhale, sweep your left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. See if you can touch or tap your right bum. And then bring it back all the way. Fold. Inhale, lift the legs and your spine. Lean a little bit forward to balance your weight over your feet. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, release. And again. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, circle your arms back, fold, let your head hang. Inhale, lift the length in your spine. Exhale, fold back to plank. And from plank, push your bum up to downward dog. Check your alignment, palms are shoulder width apart. And knees are extended. Let your head align with your spine. On the inhale, send your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Open the hip. Bend the knee. Keep opening the hip. Flex your right foot. And start circling your ankle. Press down onto your left heel. Keep opening the hip. And just circle your ankle. And don't forget about the other direction. Do a few more. Last two. One. And bring it back to normal downward dog. Paddle, take three breaths. Align your neck and spine. Enjoy how your vertebras are not loaded right now. One more breath. And then on the inhale, extend your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Open the hip. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. And start circling, circling your ankle. Five in one direction. And five in the opposite direction. All the while, keeping your hip open. Yes. And then bring it back to the 
dog paddle and then on the inhale rise high onto your toes bend the knees look between your arms walk the left foot forward right foot forward fold inhale lift the length in your spine exhale fold inhale circle your arms all the way up ribs in exhale relax i don't think you guys can see my cat she's like she decided not to play but just to stand here <laughs> to, to lounge over here where the camera can see her nah, anyways uh, inhale circle your arms all the way up exhale hinge from your hips fold all the way release your neck inhale lift and lengthen your spine exhale back to plank and from plank push your bum up to downward dog on the inhale send your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling extend open the hip take momentum exhale bring it forward between your palms back foot is on a second track and the toes are on 80 degrees ankle we're going for warrior one front knee on top of ankle keep pressing the right hip out to keep the tracking of your knee with second and third toe hips are squared so you need to adjust them to face forward ribs in and i like to reach my arms all the way up keep the back leg straight and active pressing down onto the outer edge and I like to feel how my body in the pose through my breath. So on the inhale through your nose, everything fills up, lengthens. And then on the exhale, we contract our belly, release everything out through our nose. Again, a lot is working. Back leg is straight and active. The right leg is pressing, the right hip is pressing out from knees on top of ankle. <laughs> and then we're gonna go from warrior one to warrior three hi i have to move a little bit back but you stay as you are you can have your palms to heart or palms to your waist if you need to we're gonna pivot the back foot so as if we are in high lunge you're gonna start all your load is on the front foot so you're gonna start leaning onto that right foot hinging your back lifting the back leg your right knee is still bent micro bent while you are hinging reaching that flat back parallel to the mat hips are squared facing the mat and again listen to your body see how much can you lift you can stay here palms to heart Neck and spine align, either knee straight or micro bend, and just breathe. Balance is very important practice for our focus, for our breath, for calming our heart and mind. Two more breaths. Oops, one more and then bend, or you can just trip like I did, which is all good. And then come back to back foot on an angle 80 degrees for warrior one. Reach your arms all the way up. And then slowly hinge from your hips. Keep the front knee bent, hands to heart, and only for 45. And I want to press down onto the back heel. Press down onto the back heel. And then slowly extend the arms, fold, send your right back, regular, right foot back to down your dog. Pedal, yes you can see, nice. And then on the inhale, send the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it forward between your palms. Pivot the back foot, second track, and toes on 80 degrees angle. Again, we're going for warrior one on the left leg. Front knee on top of ankle and um yeah hips are squared facing forward i don't know why i'm losing my thoughts reach your arms all the way up yes back leg see how the back leg tends to release and lean onto your arch 
Keep it straight and press down onto the outer edge. Ribs in, neutral spine and neck. And take three breaths to feel what your body is doing in this pose. In through the nose and out through the nose. Last breath here. And then bring your palms to heart. I need space, so I'm going back. Keep everything as is. Start adding the weight more onto the front foot. Slowly lifting the back heel, hinging forward. Slowly, hips are flexing. Lift the back leg. Use your glute and flat back. Neck and spine aligned. You're facing. Your eyes are facing your mat. And the right glute is working to extend the hip. Your hip bones are still facing the mat as well, just like your shoulder joints, just like your eyes. Focus, breathe, just three more breaths. You can have a micro bend into your left knee. And then slowly bend the knee, land it back, just reach the arms. Make sure your back toes are on 80 degrees angle and on second track. Think of street curl tracks. And then pumps to heart. Hinge your back to 45. And keep pressing down onto the back heel. Back heel. Keep pressing down onto the back heel. From knee above ankle. And then slowly fold. Bring the right foot forward. Fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Hi, Rizzi. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, release. Hi, Rizzi. What's up, boy? So we're still at the top of the mat. And this time we'll begin our surya. Oh, we'll begin our surya with chair. She's so cute. So you can have your... Feet either hip width apart or wider if you want. So reach your arms all the way up, ribs in, rise high into your toes, extend those ankles, extend those ankles, and then exhale, lower the knees, bend the knees, sink into your chair. And again, use your inner thighs, sink more, sink more, press down onto your heels. Think more, spine and neck aligned. And then from the hips, we we'll rise one inch, lower one inch. Rise, low. Press down onto your heels. Rise, low. Rise, tiny lift, low. Rise, low. Rise, low. Five, four, three, Two, one, fold, let your head hang, inhale, lift the length in your spine, exhale, send your right foot back, knee to the mat, we're going to low lunge, front knee on top of ankle, neutral spine, ribs in, reach your arms all the way up, and we'll start, Hinging from the hips, plant your palms, push your hips back, extending that left knee. Keep your right hip above the right knee, square. And maybe you're touching the mat, maybe not, as long as you can keep your neck and spine aligned. Point your left toes, enjoy the stretch. And then slowly bend the knee again, reach. And I want you to take the knee over the ankle, over the ankle. Yes, sink. Let it sink over the ankle. And then plant your palm, send your left foot back, downward dog. On the inhale, send your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it forward between your palms for high lunge. 
So we're heavy onto the front heel, high on the back toes, back leg is straight and active. Reach your arms all the way up. And this time you're gonna circle the right arm, internally rotating first, and then at the back, opening it up, bringing the arm forward. Switch, no, don't switch, we'll do the right, we'll right knee, right arm. Internally rotating all the way back, externally rotate, bring the arm up. We'll do four more. Start, thumb facing down, internal rotation from the shoulder joint all the way back until you can, and then external rotate, bring it back up. Three more. And then back, keep your torso facing forward, right knee pressing out, it tends to press in. Back leg still straight, don't lose it. Last two circles from the shoulder. And bring it back. Internal rotation, all the way back. Externally rotate, bring it back up. Hinge, plant your palms. Take the right palm inside the right foot. Toes out, heel out, toes out on an angle. In a lizard form. You can have your left knee, the back knee, to the mat if you want. Or just stay with me here and reach your right palm all the way up, opening your ribcage towards the ceiling, pressing that left shoulder joint back, don't let it cave in. And then bring it back. Send your right foot all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the knee past your knee past your palms, we're going to pigeon and again you have options it depends on where you are on your pigeon practice either the heel to your pubic bone kind of thing or away from the pubic bone as much as you can as long as you keep your hips squared check your back leg is straight and start hinging forward either to your forearm or all the way extended your arm, extending your arms if you have space in front of you. I don't. <laughs> so I'm staying here. And again, I want you to close your eyes and start inhaling through your nose and exhale through your nose. And close your eyes and feel what's happening, what's moving in your body during the next four inhales and exhales. In through your nose and out through your nose. Two more breaths here. Your hips are squared. And then slowly either slide your palms back behind your knees, under your shoulder joints. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, press and lift your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, extend it, and then bring it back to downward dog. Start walking your feet towards your palms, fold, inhale, lift and lengthen your spine, exhale, fold, inhale, circle your arms all the way up, exhale, fold. And then we begin, inhale, circle your arms all the way up, exhale, hinge from your hips, plant your palms, fold, inhale, lift and lengthen your spine, exhale, send your left foot back, knee to the mat, we're going to low lunge, you can tuck your toes or untuck them as you like, and we reach all the way up, keeping spine neutral, ribs in. And then again, what we're doing here is the same thing. Left arm, internally rotate, sending the thumb down, circle it all the way back, and then external rotation, bring it forward. Internal rotation, circle it back. External rotate, bring it back up. Internal, until you can't, and then rotate out, bring it back forward. We do three more. I know we did it in high lunge. 
now we're doing it in low lunge. It's fine. <laughs> and then internal rotation, just two more until you can't anymore. And then externally rotate, bring it back forward. Last one. Internal rotation, out, bring it back. Plant both your palms, extend the right knee. Make sure your left hip is above the left knee, not swaying out and losing your core strength. Either fingertips to the mat or not, as long as your neck and spine are aligned. Point your right toes and breathe. And then slowly walk it back. Send your right foot to the downward dog. Pedal. And then on the inhale, send your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it forward to high lunge. Yes, to high lunge. Back leg straight and active. And from the above ankle, keep pressing your left hip out. And this time, we'll hinge our back to 45. So there is a straight line from the leg, spine, neck. Reach your arms that are parallel to your ears. Maybe the thumbs are facing a tiny bit down. Keep the front knee above your arm. I want you to think you are swimming in water. Swim. And alternate between the arms. Maybe tilt your neck as if, as if you're taking a breath. Yes. Two, four more on each arm. Four, four, three on the right, three on the left. Two, two, one. Is your back leg straight? Yes. Hinge, plant your palms, send the left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. And then bring it outside of your left palm. Make sure your left palm is under your shoulder joint. You can lower the back knee if you want or stay here, high lizard. And reach, sweep the left palm all the way up towards the ceiling. Back leg is straight. Widen, open, twist. Yes, keep pressing the right shoulder back. Don't let it cave in. And then bring it back. Reach that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale the knee between your palms, past your palms. Again. Remember what you picked for the other side and do it. Back leg is straight, hips are squared, lean forward onto your forearms or extend your arms, forehead to the mat maybe. And just stay here, close your eyes, breathe through your nose, calm your heart, calm your mind. Sometimes the hips release, keep them squared, keep it active. And then slowly release, bring your palms behind your knee, tuck the right toes, hover the knee, and reach your left foot all the way up towards the ceiling. Bring it back to downward dog and pedal your knees here. <coughs> Take three breaths here. And then come to plank, lower the knees to the mat. And this time we we'll lower onto our forearms. To make sure we have the correct forearms, just cross your arms so that you have uh, you have your forearms parallel to each other and then open the right, open the left, you have a perfect forearm distance between each other and all. We're going to extend our legs so we are in a forearm plank. Push back onto your heels, bring the left forearm to center, okay, and start pivoting onto, the, onto your left foot, we come into a side plank. Left shoulder, left elbows under the shoulder, hike your hips up and see if you want you can reach the top arm, maybe lift that top leg, lift the hips, yes, 
Just three more breaths. Two. Or stack the feet or one in front of the other as you like. And then slowly lower the top leg. Lower the hips. Relax completely. We're just going to do one thing here. I want you to relax either as a sleeping position or extend your arms completely. We lift. We do a few of just the top arm lift. Then the second. They meet low. Lift the top. Second leg. Meet low. Lift the top. Second. Meet low. Lift. Lift. They meet low. All the while, your hips are neutral and on top of each other. Low. Head is relaxed. Hi, Rizzi. And keep going. Yes. Lift. Lift and keep going. Yes, Rizzi. And then just do two more. <laughs> oh, yes. Lift, lift, meet, lower. One more time. Lift, lift, meet, lower. And then glue both feet together so they are one unit. Okay? And we do eight of these so they are one unit. Balance with the tips of your fingers. Lift, low, lift, low, lift. Low, lift, low, one more, low, two, lower, one, lower, nice, and then roll onto your stomach, we're just gonna do upper extension and leg extension and then roll onto our side, <clears throat> so this time plant left palm, right palm, forehead above the palms, feet are hip width apart, Activate your kneecaps, press down onto your big toes. And on the inhale, prep, exhale, lift, hover off the mat, low. Pressing down onto the tops of your feet, pubic bone glued to the mat, low. Up, low. Just up, low. Three, four, kneecaps activated off the mat, five, Six, seven, eight. Lower all the way. This time relax your forehead or relax on one of the ears and glue the feet together. They are one unit. We're just gonna extend the legs. Lift the legs. So feet together. Squeeze your glutes. Lift. I want you to think of lengthening through your toes that you wanna touch the back wall through your toes, lift, low, squeeze and lift, low, forehead is relaxed, neck is relaxed, and you're squeezing, lengthening to lift, you want to reach the back wall and it initiates this subtle lift, nice, four, five, six, seven, eight, this time, we come, uh, yeah, we roll onto our sides, so I'll roll this way. So come to your other side. Yeah, having a cat is having hair everywhere. And when you're sweating, that's not cool. Anyway, so we come onto our side, we're just gonna do the leg lift. So relax your head completely onto your bottom arm. And we begin first. By lifting the top leg, lift the second, touch low. Lift, lift, touch low. Lift, lift, touch low. You might need cushioning here under, I forgot to mention that, under your sides, just in case. The bones and stuff, sometimes it's not comfortable. Continue, lift, lift, touch low. Lift, lift, touch low. Three more. Lift, lift. Touch lower. Again, your hips are stacked away from your ribs. Lift, lift, touch lower. Last one. Lift, lift, touch lower. This time we're going to glue feet, knees together so they are one unit and we're going to lift them together. Lift, low. Lift, low. Lift, low. Eight. Seven. Six. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, roll onto your back. We're gonna do bridge. Yeah, her hair is everywhere. Like I believe, I think it's even in my nose right now. So feet are hip width apart, knees bent. Obviously, we're going to bridge. And you can have your palms alongside your arms alongside your body, palms facing down. Chin is in and a little bit down so that the neck is neutral. And we'll begin by tilting your rocking your pelvis towards your ribs, lifting vertebra by vertebra. Think kind of cat cow but in bridge, and then lower from the top spine, vertebra by vertebra, all the way down. Arc your lower back and then pull those hips towards your ribs, lift vertebra by vertebra, all the way up, squeezing your inner thighs to keep your knees parallel to each other, squeeze the glutes, and then start lowering vertebra by vertebra from your upper spine, keep going. We're gonna do six more, rock the pelvis, lift vertebra by vertebra, press down onto your heels, squeeze, lower, vertebra by vertebra it's all i love this version this version of bridge because it works on my spine mobility and articulation and build some connection with my vertebras and arc the lower back exhale rock the hips towards your ribs and start lifting vertebra by vertebra Inhale and then release by lowering vertebra by vertebra on the mat. And I guess you have three more to do. Yes, all the way up. And then lower. Two more. Last one. I mean, two. All the way up. And then lower down. And this is the last one. Take it slow, reach up, squeeze, press down to your knees, and then lower vertebra by vertebra all the way down to the mat. Hug your knees to your chest and just either rock from side to side or draw circles with your knees. Big circles, small circles, different direction. Don't forget to do both sides. Massage your lower back. Give it some love. If you're sitting all week, or I don't think we do move as much as before. So give some love to your lower back. And then feet flat on the mat. Place the right knee over the left. Open your arms in a T-shape or cactus if you don't have enough space. On the inhale, hug your knees to your chest. Exhale, land them on the left side. Press down onto your right shoulder. Place your left palm onto your right thigh and glide your head towards the right. Close your eyes, take three breaths. And then slowly glide your head back to center. Use your left palm to guide your thighs, knees up, feet flat on the mat. Sway from side to side. And then left knee over the right. Inhale, hug it to your chest. Exhale, land it on the right side. Place your right palm onto your left side. Like I heard the crack already. So it's good. Press down onto your left shoulder. And glide your head towards the left. Release. See if you can release a bit more towards the mat or towards the floor. Close your eyes and breathe. baby, elbows are straight, flex your feet, knees above your knees, if you want to sway, to rock from side to side, that's an option, or just stay in happy baby, I love this pose, feels nice to rock from side to side and massage your back, and then bring the soles of the feet together, 
with your breath and then release one breath and then soles of the feet again together wrap your fingers around them elbows are pressing the knees out just two breaths here and then slowly release bringing the knees together rock to your right side stay here for a few breaths Stay here as long as you want. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you like it. Have an amazing weekend. And see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. And end.